Okay, here's my video about a uh, little known um, comic book miniseries that I liked. Um, here we have issue one of Arch Enemies um, by Drew Melbourne. And it's a, it's a comic book about a superhero who, um, right here, he, um, and this is issue four. I only got one and four because the comic shop in my city didn't have the other ones and I haven't been to a comic shop in a while to go look for the other two so um, the series is about these t uh, this superhero who t he's kinda like your typical you know spider-man superhero superman guy that's got he's got all the powers and stuff but he he's got that jockish douchebag side to him and a supervillain named Underlord who is kind of like Doctor Doom, but they're both. Uh, what's funny is that they're both like in their twenties, and um, they share an apartment. They don't know each other's secret identity, and they hate each other in their day-to-day -day life too. Because, like I said, this guy, the superhero, is kind of like a jockey douchebag who's just throwing parties and getting laid all the time, and it drives uh, Underlord nuts because he just he's a recluse and just wants to be in his room. And it's it's funny. Um, it's not really a satire. It's just funny how it plays with normal comic book con uh, conventions. And it's it's from Dark Horse, and it's kind of little little known. I don't really hear too much about it. I just found it because um, they had the first issue in my comic shop, so I picked it up. And then I couldn't find anything till issue four. So when I have more time, I'll try and pick up the other two. So give this one a shot. Um, next we got Hero Squared by Keith Geffen. Um, and J J M D D Matis, the guys who did uh, Jail J L I Justice League International back in the 80s, where it was more where the the comics were funnier rather than action packed. Uh, this is issue one. Issue two, the all therapy issue. Issue three, issue four, issue five. And basically, the premise of this comic is that um, Milo um, is a slacker guy who just lives in an everyday universe, and Milo. Two from parallel universe comes into his universe um, seeking refuge because his arch nemesis destroyed their universe. And the funny thing about it is that his arch nemesis is Milo's girlfriend in his universe. And um, this this guy's middle name is Eustace. Like they both have the same middle name. It's um, but he's. He explains to uh, Eustace that it's completely stupid that they both call themselves Milo. And since this is his world, he's going to make him go by his middle name of Eustace, which they both hate. And um, so Milo, uh, again, is just being a big slacker and is having relationship problems as it is. Um, so Eustace coming in with his intergalactic battle doesn't really help matters. Uh, this is from Boom Studios also, the company that's irredeemable. Um, I know that there's three trades of this, so if you can find it, pick it up. It's really funny and worth your money. Um, next we have Shrugged uh, from Aspen Press. Uh, Michael Turner's um, comic, comic company. Uh, this is Shrugged the Beginning, issue one. Um, this is Zero, uh, the, a preview that came with um, one of my wizards a, a while back. And this is issue Zero. And with Michael Turner being dead, I don't know what happened to this series, because I don't know if he finished it before he died. That was actually issue one. Here's issue two. Issue four. I'm missing issue three. That's the only issue I'm missing, I think. 
issue five and issue six. Um, yeah, with Michael Turner being dead, I don't know what happened to this series. Like it was really hard for me to find as it was. Um, but I haven't seen a new issue of this in like two years, so I'm guessing it's dead in the water. And the premise of this is that uh, the main character hears an angel and a demon uh, talking to him like it's kind of that yeah, you know, that angel demon on your shoulder constantly telling you to, what to do, which is right and wrong. And, um... And, um... But then, like, the main character gets sucked into, um... Hell. So... And I think the, the demon and the angel had a thing for each other. It's been a couple years since I've read this, but... Um... I know the demon's name was Dev. And I think the girl's name was Ange. So, yeah, no, it's kind of simplistic. But I liked it. It was good. Like I said, it was decently written. And it wasn't my normal superhero tights and fights thing. So, maybe you guys could check it out. Just give it a single issue glance. Um, here we have Fade from Grace. Um, I love this series. It's from Beckett. Um, this is issue one. Issue no. Issue two. Issue three. Issue four. And issue five. Um, this is also from Jeff Amano, the same guy who did um, Kiss and Tell and. Uh, uh, I think this also got collected into a trade, but I only had the single issues, uh, and I really like this because this is about a, a guy who um, gets superpowers and tries to defend uh, his city, but every time he does, he calls himself Fade, uh, hence, and his wife's name is Grace, so Fade from Grace, haha. Uh -huh. um, but every time he does, it, it slowly starts to kill him, so there ends up being this um, robot that goes loose and he has no choice but to stop the destruction so um it's a really good story well written the art's really interesting um so if you want to try something different go with this and it's not that expensive each issue was only like i think yeah two dollars the first issue was a dollar so you're only going to pay nine bucks plus tax if you buy them single issue i don't know how much the trade is um, if you saw my trade paperbacks, you're going to know what this series is. This is Hard Time um, from Steve Gruber. Uh, this is the rest of the series, in, like I said, in single issues. Issue 8, Issue 9, and this is Season 2, Issue 2. I'm missing Issue 1. That's the only one I'm missing from this entire series. Um... Number three, four. Cindy is a really interesting character because this is just a little uh, gay kid, and you you wonder what he did to get put in jail. Uh, so this issue explains all. And it's it's a good it's a good book. Uh, issue five. Issue six. And issue seven. This came out around the, the one year later uh, time when DC was doing one year later. So I guess this was a little play doing 49 years later. It's like I said, this is a great series that you need to give a try. Um, this is a limited series. And I'm not going to show the whole the whole thing. Uh, it's American Virgin. It's about this guy who used to be a um, a. Um, youth pastor and his fiance gets murdered on the eve of their uh on before their wedding and so he has to decide what to do with his life you know and so he questions everything to do with god and um his virginity because he said he was going to stay pure until he was married and if you it takes a lot of weird twists and turns like there's revenge there's blood there's um well <laughs> honestly lesbian sex transgender pregnancy it's a really good out there series, so if you want to give this a shot, go for it. This is... So, yeah, there you go.